the New York Times called it the 72-hour war over Christmas. So the city of Charleston, West Virginia, they host an annual Christmas parade every year. But this year, to be more inclusive, the mayor changed the name to Winter Parade. This did not, yeah, this did not go over well with residents, and after much backlash and calls for the mayor's resignation, the word Christmas was reinstated. So what do we think of that? I mean, Christmas Day is December 25th. It's not called Winter Day or Winter Parade Day. So, you know, I just, I, I don't think in order to be inclusive that we have to subtract, meaning we can celebrate all of it, right? So I want to learn more about Hanukkah. I want to learn more about Eid. I want to learn more about these things. So to be inclusive doesn't mean separate, right? Well, Murphy, or separate. How many parades should this town have? You know, the town that, <laughs> right? Right, well, Monica, right, like how many parades? It doesn't have to be a parade, but it could be incorporated throughout the town in schools, you know, that kind of thing. But we're talking about a parade that's gone on for a long period of time. It's tradition, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. that, I don't, I don't think that the two are mutually exclusive. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, I love that you're talking about that, but I, right away my mind went into, let's look at the demographics of this town, and it is largely, like 90% and above, a Christian community, uh, about 48 thousand population and the reason why that means something to me is that when you talk about that it's a smaller I mean it's 48,000 is big but in comparison to a big city it's small and when you talk about big cities more people more population and inclusivity now you know it's not just Christian it's everyone from all parts of the world oftentimes coming together in a big city whereas a smaller town it's a little bit more homogenous and this mayor unilaterally chose to do it and I don't know about you but if I vote somebody in you actually work for us. It's not that you decide unilaterally. I'm just going to change whatever I want. Now, so she really, governance to me means she works for the people, and the people never asked her to change it. Mm -hmm. So that means something to me. However, she's got an I, agenda. She, maybe. Well, maybe Personal. she has an agenda. Perhaps, yeah. And I don't think it's, I think in good faith. I, mean, I think she was, she she said, was, not, she was I'm gonna, trying to be like, I want to be an, inclusive. Good, good interest. All like, of those things. Having said that, I will say, because my family is multi ethnic, so I very much am aware, top of mind, who is celebrating what. And I never want to make it feel that something that I am celebrating as a Christian that I'm imposing on somebody else. Mm -hmm. And I'm very, like, this is the, the debate. We have people of all faiths. I don't automatically start with Merry Christmas because I don't know if you celebrate Christmas. And that is because I live in a big city and people come from all over the world. So I lead with Happy Holidays unless they start with Merry Christmas, to which I will reply with a Merry Christmas. I think that's just respectful. My uh, sister's boyfriend is Persian, so when they're celebrating Persian New Year, I am saying Happy New Year in Farsi to him. If my friends are celebrating Rosh Hashanah, I will say Shana Tava to you, but I don't expect you to say Merry Christmas to me if that's not your holiday. I respect this. So I think she's coming from a good place, mm -hmm. but nobody Asked her to change it. No, no one asked her so, to change it. Yeah. And, and I think too, that's, I, mean, I love that you do that, you know, and respect people when you're speaking mm -hmm. to them one on one, but this is a parade and there is choice when it comes to a parade. You know, if that's not what you celebrate, you don't have to go, mm -hmm. right? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. that doesn't mean it yeah. shouldn't exist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't I, like everyone was calling for her resignation. Like, it's just, it seems so, extreme. It seems yeah. extreme. It's so anti Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's it. <laughs> It's ridiculous. No, it's so when it comes like to religion, say, right, and that's really I know, the bottom and, and line, course, people get their backs up. I get it. And mm -hmm. of course, we, I know the origins of, of, of Christmas, of course, are related to the birth of Christ. And I, and I was raised Catholic, so it's ex it was extraordinarily important in my household. I mean, I think that we can also see that in many ways, secular people do celebrate Christ Christmas as well. It's become something that's been, uh, there's an aspect of it that's very commercialized Incredibly and very sort of yeah, non-religious. Yeah, you know? mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, and I, I, I mean, I think, I, I like the idea of, of recognizing as much as we can. Um, and I think that, it, for me, I like the mixed use. I don't mind hearing sometimes something, this is a holiday event, or this is a winter event with Christmas. All of it yeah, together, I think winter. Is, no, yeah. I, could, I mean, there's actually I, lots of yeah, things yeah, wrong with winter. <laughs> <laughs> now that I think right. about it, but as a word, I'm yeah. okay with it. I'm okay with it, too. Yeah. Because yeah. I think when you, I, I, personally, I mean, I celebrate Christmas, but I don't think my celebration of Christmas should hurt your feelings or hurt your ability to express yourself. And I think when I, at first when I heard this story, I kind of thought, oh, I roll, of course, Christmas is fine. But then I thought about my life and I'm like, well, I'm inclusive when it comes to who you want to love and, and you know, fashion and body positivity. So I, 
if you want to celebrate a different thing, I shouldn't necessarily have to call it Christmas, nor should you have to be in a town where we do a Christmas parade. Mm -hmm. So I, I think if you're inclusive, you got to be kind of inclusive all across the way, board. across the board. Okay, at least, you know, noble efforts. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies, let me talk to you for a second. Do we need to be more upfront about our periods? No. <laughs> I like that. I like the that there's a guy right next to yeah. the man right next to my camera yelled no. <laughs> Just for the record, thank you for your honesty, sir. We love that.